Welcome back to Stoffer Garage, guys. Today's video is a special one because I'm gonna be sharing with you the 12 detailing tips and tricks that you need to know to make your car look amazing. And I wanna thank 303 for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are new, smash that subscribe button down below, give this video a huge thumbs up, and let's roll right into the first tip. So the first tip I have for you today is if you have a pet and you have that stubborn dog, cat, whatever hair stuck inside your seats in your carpet and you can never get it all out, look at picking up a Puma Stone or a Squeegee. It'll help you out tenfold with getting it all out that much easier. Tip number two, wear eye protection, gloves, wear a respirator, wear protection. I can't say that enough. Wear protection, guys, because when you're detailing all of the different substances and the things that you can touch that you've seen in my videos. If you didn't wear hand protection, all of that's gonna get absorbed into your skin and nobody wants that. And heavens forbid, some of that splashes into your eyes and you breathe it in and just wear protection. That's all I gotta say. Tip number three, when you're cleaning your windows, definitely use two microfiber towels, one to do the initial scrub, the second one to wipe off the streaks, but never forget the top of your window. So after you do the initial clean, Roll that window down just a little bit so that way you can clean that top edge so that way the next time you roll that window down, you don't look at that one spot and cry a little. You don't want to do that. So for tip number four, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the 303 touchless sealant. This stuff is one of those spray on, rinse off type sealants that definitely makes your car shine. But the best part is how easy it is to use. All you got to do is make sure when you're washing your car, get everything cleaned up, get all that dirt and grime off the car. And then when you're done, instead of drying the car off, after you've rinsed off all the soap, just leave it dripping wet, lightly spray on your touchless sealant from 303 and then rinse it off. And then you just go through your drying process. That's all it is to it. It literally is a game changer for me, especially when it comes to some of these details that I do. You wanna get the job done fast. If you guys know my videos, I spend a lot of time on the extraction and everything on the interior with some of these cars. And the exterior, you just don't have the time to spend waxing the car and spending all this time on some of these high prep processes. The best part is about the 303 touchless sealant is it lasts two times longer than wax, so it saves both time and money. It can be used on clear coat plastics, glass, fiberglass, windshields, wheels, you name it, anything on the exterior of your car can be coated in this stuff. The best part is water will literally beat off of every surface that you spray it on and the whole entire outside of your car can be coated in one single product and it goes on super, super easy like I mentioned. A little goes a long way, so one 16 ounce bottle can typically cover one to two like pickup truck, SUV sized vehicles, and then usually three to four cars in a single bottle. My recommendation from using it is definitely do one section at a time. So do like half of your hood, lightly spray it on, rinse it off, and then you can go on to the next section and that's all there is to it the stuff works incredibly well at beating water as you guys can see in these shots here on this land rover it turned out amazing and it gives it that really really deep shine and we all know and love the deep wet shine that you can get from that perfect wax or sealant and this product definitely gives you that at an affordable price and saving you a ton of time in the process Tip number five, one of the biggest questions I get is where did I get all of these different tools? I can't afford these tools, they're so expensive for an extractor, yada, yada, yada. And that is true, they are expensive. But what I can recommend is go to like Facebook Marketplace, go to Craigslist, go buy used. You can pick up some of these tools for nearly nothing compared to what they cost new. Like the tiny little vacuum extractor thing that I used in some of my videos early on, I picked it up for 10 bucks used. And you can do the same thing for all your pressure washers, your shop vacuums, any tools that you see in these videos, you don't have to necessarily buy new. Just remember that used is okay. Just make sure it works before you leave and you're good to go. If, especially if you're a hobbyist, you're not gonna use these tools every single day like a commercial full-time detailer would. If you can buy used, buy used. Save yourself some money and get the job done. Tip number six. This is something that you've never seen me do in my videos, but I've mentioned it before, is sometimes you can't get everything extracted from the carpets. The good news is there's a lot of companies out there that make OEM fit carpets that you can simply pull out and replace. Granted, it's a laborious process. It's not too bad, but it takes some time. But if you truly had something that you couldn't get out or it was just so stinky and smelly, you can replace your carpets at actually an affordable price. If you have carpets like Roach Motel or Goat Motel, like you've seen in some of my videos, definitely consider the replacement part of it instead of spending a ton of time extracting, especially if it's that far gone. 
Tip number seven, bust out those detailing brushes, pick up a set, they definitely come in handy and definitely a tool that I use in every single one of my videos, whether it's on the air vents, the different buttons or switches or the leather seats, you name it, detailing brushes are definitely something I recommend adding to your arsenal as a staple tool you use in your details. Tip number eight, use a bristle brush or a bristle brush attachment to your vacuum to get some of that dirt that's stuck on like your gas pedals or stuck on like the bolts or in the edges of the door panels or along the seams where the carpet meets the door sill. You have a lot of dirt that can get stuck in those spots and if you have a brush while you're doing it initially, it helps get that removed and that out of the vehicle so that way you don't have to do it later on. So for tip number nine, use two bucket method, which I've talked about before. The main goal is you're trying to keep your dirty water after you've washed a panel in one bucket before you dunk it in your fresh water. So that way you don't possibly contaminate and scratch your paint. Tip number 10, use the force, bust out that pressure washer, and if you need to, utilize it on your floor mats because floor mats don't have a ton of carpet or absorbable material. So if you have to blast it with your pressure washer to get that extra dirt out initially before you use your drill brush or use your extractor, use your pressure washer. It is definitely a tool that I recommend everybody have because you can also use it when you wash your car in the exterior with a foam cannon or just washing your car in general. It's a versatile tool and you can even use it on your house afterwards. That's the best part about that tool a carpet extractor you can use it around your house especially if you have kids or dogs or pets it's definitely going to come in handy after you've cleaned your interior of your car use an interior protectant that is a matte finish and i say use a matte finish because some of the vinyl protectants that are greasy and super shiny you have to worry about glare at nighttime reflecting and kind of causing some vision issues and it gets sticky and attracts dirt i prefer the matte finish ones because it makes it look the most oem and the cleanest look and plus it just looks better in my opinion so maybe it's perception of which one you guys like the most but for me personally i would rather not have a sticky oily dashboard and definitely don't use olive oil i saw that as a tip on a video once and don't, don't use that. Get a specific vinyl protectant spray, especially one with a UV protectant that'll keep your interior from discoloring or cracking. Use the power of steam, Luke. Yes, use the power of steam. I say that again, use the power of steam because sometimes in certain cases, you have something that just won't come out, steam usually can get the job done, especially if you're working around your door panels or you're working in the door frames that are really hard to get your tools into. Steam can usually get the job done. It can help get crayon alpha plastic panels on your interior. If you have gum or anything on your carpets or anything caked into your carpets that's solidified, steam can loosen it up, melt it essentially, so that way you can wipe it away very, very easily. And that is it guys, that's my 12 tips and tricks that I have for detailing that I wanted to share with you guys today. If you liked them, let me know in the comments below which one was your absolute favorite. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I know that there are some of you guys that watch these videos that aren't subscribed, I can see it in the analytics. And to be honest, it helps this channel out so much if you guys just turn on notifications and hit that subscribe button down below. So thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.